Also, does Scott Beal and the Atlas Corps, without um, your program, which I fondly call the Reverse Peace Corps, but we wouldn't have the opportunity to have Marette and these wonderful, um, talented women uh, with organizations here in the United States. Atlas Corps is an international network of the world's best nonprofit leaders. We're a social venture that brings professional nonprofit leaders from all over the world to volunteer at some of the best nonprofit organizations in the U.S. and overseas. We look for skilled nonprofit professionals, usually in their late 20s, early 30s, who have some ex experience, who have some skills, who come and volunteer at organizations like the World Wildlife Fund, or Oxfam, or TechnoServe, or Ashoka, or even the U.S. Peace Corps. Our mission is to address critical social issues by developing leaders, strengthening organizations, and promoting innovation through an international network of the world's best nonprofit leaders. We're a social venture because organizations pay us for our fellows. They pay a cost share of about $29,000 that covers about 80% of our expenses. This is allowing us to grow from seven fellows in our first year to 50 fellows in 2011. And in the future, we think we'll expand to 500 fellows a year, empowering leaders from all over the world to share best practices, address critical social issues, and create a network which can tackle the world's most intractable social challenges. In this video, I want to show you some pictures and also some video of some of our past presentations. And I hope you go to our website, atlascore.org, to learn more about our program. What we've shown Thank you. is that there are talented people all over the world who want to contribute. In our last cycle, we had 1,000 people apply for 21 positions. It's like, wow. it's amazing. It's like twice as competitive as Harvard, almost as competitive as Georgetown. <laughs> Three of our fellows from Egypt. A couple of them were in Tahir Square. As these Egyptian fellows showed the world, or Egyptian nonprofit leaders showed us in Cairo and Alex, that it's not just, you know, democracy doesn't, it doesn't just exist down the street, down in the US Capitol. I don't even know if sometimes it exists down there, but down in just in this one city. But then Egyptians can come to this city and teach us about civic engagement, teach us about leadership, teach us about courage, and teach us about changing the world. And as Americans learn from Egyptians and Egyptians Americans, these Egyptians are living in group houses with fellows from Zimbabwe and, and Belgium and, and Ni lots of Nigerians. <laughs> in five years, we, we think we could have as many as 250 fellows a year going to 10 different cities around the world. And in, in 10 years, have at least 500 fellows a year, per year, going all over the world. As just like we have a Spaniard going to Colombia, we can have someone from South Africa going to HIV AIDS work in India. It doesn't even have to involve the United States, right? Let's have people, smart people, passionate people, talented people, crossing borders to address those world's issues. Uh, so far, I'm excited about uh, uh, the training, so everything is going well, and uh, it seems that I'm going to have a good year. <laughs> now, even those who are activists, even those of us who are in the field, sometimes don't even always believe change is possible, even when it's just about to come. And so with this experience and with this story and from my own personal experience, especially in Atlas Core, sometimes we don't even believe that we have the ability to create such um, positive and impactful and profound change, even as we are doing it. So uh, this is a reminder that big change can happen. And whether it's in Cairo or in the US or all around the world, or even within us, uh, let's keep fighting for that change. Let's keep fighting uh, for the, the better world that we all know is possible. I'm so proud to be a part of Atlas Core. I'm so proud of our fellows. I'm so proud of our incredible host organizations. We want to be working with more nonprofits. We want to be working with more fellows from all over the world. And uh, so thank you very much for coming and thank you all for being a part of this.
started it. Thank you for making Atlas Core a success. Thank you for spreading the word about our program because we have not grown with big corporate donors or, or big foundations telling us what it's all about. Our program has grown because of individuals like yourself who have believed in what we do, who have spread the word, who have got more people involved, and made this the kind of the grassroots global movement that we're trying to make. Thank you all very much for coming out tonight.